Hey, what's up everyone? James from Junkyard Box, thank you for joining me. And today we're gonna be talking about a knife. Now you have seen this blade a couple of episodes already. We're talking about the Bark River Knives Classic Drop Point Hunter. This beautiful thing right here. Now this knife was sent to me by Bark River a couple months back uh, when they decided to sponsor the Operation Survival Challenge. So every participant that took place, I'm sorry, took part in that challenge received a Bark River knife. So I will admit I did not use this knife extensively, but my volunteer Ben that took part in that challenge, uh, if you guys saw through the those episodes or through this montage, you know, he put this through the ringer. Now is going to be a chance for one of you lucky viewers to win this blade. Now just before I do that, just so I can feel comfortable, you know, pretty much endorsing this blade, is uh, I'm going to just do a couple more exercises with it. So we're going to get a fire going, a one stick fire, because I think that's a crucial testing method for a fixed blade. And then from there we're going to be cooking up some alligator tacos. So thank you for joining me. Let's go ahead and get started. So some batoning time. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, we don't realistically, I've never had to do a one stick fire to survive at any point, uh, especially out here in the desert where we can just get a lot of dead grass. But it's a good exercise to see how much damage the blade can take. Also how much, um, you know, how sharp the spine is, how well the blade, the edge keeps. So I think it's just a good test in general. Slightly more polished than other 90 degree spines, but it works just as well. So, first test making the fire, it excelled. Great stuff. Okay, so now that our fire is getting nice and hot, we got a good bed of coals going. It's time to go ahead and get our cast iron pan and are a little great. I always carry on me. Meanwhile, the pan gets nice and hot. Let the oil get nice and hot. We're going to break out our alligator meat. Now, I did get this at Game of Life. So, uh, that's the local business that I was talking about last week. Um, and I got some alligator tenderloin. I apologize, the white just you know messes up my camera but this is alligator meat tenderloin so let's just cut this up into little pieces and place it on the pan and even though alligator meat is pretty tough it's a little bit tougher than say chicken the knife is still just slicing up pretty good now the knife at this point is not hair popping sharp uh, so it's not as sharp as it could be. I will tighten it up because we will be giving this knife away. Um, I'll elaborate on that in a little bit. And before I do that, I will, I will get it hair popping sharp.
Put some pepper. Some salt. Some cayenne. And some Cajun. So I like my food spicy. And uh, I've already done this before. I've already cooked these tacos about three times already. So I already kind of know what how I like them. And then just a little bit more olive oil so it doesn't get a little too dry. All right, the flies found me. Man, this thing is a slicer. We're not gonna need the whole tomato. So just, that's enough for now, just for my tacos. I'm gonna just slice this up. No problem at all. So food processing, this blade does exceptional. Okay, so alligator is basically cooked. It's been about 15 minutes. Alligator cooks very similar to chicken. You always wanna make sure that it's fully cooked. In the meantime, let's go ahead and heat up some tortillas for some tacos. Well, there's our taco. Tortilla's nice and hot. Some lettuce, tomatoes, jalapenos, some alligator. Nice and spicy. Let me just let it cool off over here because my hands are burning. And then we'll take our first bite. Okay, so tacos cooled down enough. Let's go ahead and take a taste. For those of you wondering, alligator, at least the way I prepared it, tastes a lot like um, like turkey, a very spicy turkey. Now, of course, that's because I like my food spicy, so I bombarded it with cayenne and pepper, but um, very good stuff. Once again, if you're in El Paso, Texas, check out Game of Life, really good stuff, or anywhere, wherever you're at, look for a place that sells gator meat. There's lots of gator farms out there, so you just gotta find a shop in your town somewhere nearby that will sell it because I honestly recommend it. It's a new favorite of mine. Okay, so final thoughts on this blade. This blade performed admirably. Now, of course, you already saw it on the three episodes of Operation Survival. And then just to round out the testing, I got a one stick fire going. It excelled there cut up some food now of course you know it was just a couple of veggies and already chopped up alligator so it didn't it didn't do too much but what it did it worked very well it's a damn good slicer and that's one thing i've noticed from bark river their convex edges are just unbeatable they're ridiculously good um great knife now if i had to say one criticism about the blade that i particularly didn't like it's not that i didn't like it but it was something i noticed is this is a2 steel but it was very sensitive you know, it was, as soon as it was wet or, you know, we, we were cutting up the cactus fruit or something, you would notice a slight patina very easily. So, I don't know. 
Now, once again, keep in mind, it did happen during our monsoon season, so everything was very wet. So it did get something of a patina. I don't know if the camera can catch that, but it got something of a patina there. Other than that, the scales are made out of wood. This is African blackwood, if I'm correct. And um, because of that, keep in mind, before me, it was up in Hawaii, a tropical environment. Then it comes down to Texas, and it just coincides during our monsoon season where it's raining and raining, and uh, it's still raining in some parts of Texas, as many of you know. Because of that, it did come with some slight hairline fracture on one of the scales. And now we have a slight chip back here where my finger's at. Nothing that's going to alter the knife in any way that's going to really wound it or anything like that. But it is a cosmetic thing, I understand. So you, can, you guys can always send this back to Bark River Knives and they'll go ahead and uh, polish it up for you. So, time to give this blade away. How to enter this giveaway? Well, let's go ahead and keep it simple. So just go ahead and like the video and comment below, I'm in. And next week we'll select a winner now just to make next week's episode a little bit more interesting so it's not just you know somebody's chosen and then that's it uh, let's have a q a session for our operation survival story so any of you out there that have any questions on the plot of the story or on a character let me know or if you have any questions behind the scenes like what camera did we use or what location were we at um, anything like that or even if you have any question that isn't exactly to me say you have a question for Ben my volunteer or Jackie the character from episode 3 or even our composer Cuervo Negro so just go ahead and write the question below write I'm in and then add your additional question next week I will select 10 questions so I'll answer them and then I'll go ahead and uh, announce our winner once again the winners chosen randomly so the question isn't going to help you anymore um, just to keep things fair so i'll be back with you next week with another video i'm going to go ahead and make myself a couple more tacos so if you like this video once again go ahead and click that like button comment below your questions and i'll see you guys next week with another video now go outside and get your boots dirty